girls yes. to, to be independent and, and to take on a sport and be good at it. It's not going to change your body as some of the other sports. It's, it's not as physically demanding as something like yes. gymnastics, but it, um, it does mentally challenge you. Absolutely. So who do we have? So recurve junior men from France. Nicolas Cambadis, I think it is. And then we got from France uh, Thomas Jure. Yeah. So we got the number one seed here against the number seven seed. So he's the, this is the guy who shot the 590. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's okay. some serious. I've only serious done that things. once in my life. Many years ago. It was a particularly good day, but I'm sure I've seen Charlotte at Junior International actually he's pretty much ever. So yeah, this should be we've got oh Ali's V Carbons. I always find these interesting matches. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's always that debate. Is there an advantage with aluminiums or carbon? I would say for Rico, size doesn't matter, it's what you do with it. Absolutely. It's in the one arrow shoot off, it matters. That's the only time. You've got nine, oh, he's 19. 19 years old here. It's a good friend. Yeah. They're, they're both 19, 19. They're, they're much 19, older yeah. than the junior girls, yeah, interesting. So I'm not, it but doesn't say what club they are, so um, <coughs> I'm not sure if they're from the same club. France do have a good uh, club setup, um, a, a, a good league, so it, uh, they have match play and it's the, the, the French archers coming up nine really do... Uh, so, 9 and 8 for our opening exchange. Strong on the face, strong yeah, anchor point. The on the neck, haven't he? <laughs> Ten. A lot of left-handers. Yeah. It's a very French technique. Yes, very traditional. <laughs> you said, what country is this guy from? You'd know. You can see. Yeah. But a good recovery there. Ten. Strong anchor in there. Yeah. Finger, all three fingers strong on the st on the string. Yes. They're not uh, slipping off. So ten needed to split the set. The old um, white plastic rest as well. Oh yeah, ten. Excellent. So eight, ten, ten. The French national team coaches on the sky. With the junior, the junior team abroad. So. That's our first split set in the recurves, I think, today. Yep, I think, yep, you're yeah. absolutely right. So yeah. one, one, uh, one point yeah. each. So they both seem quite, like they were feeling each other out. Did you feel that then? It was a bit, a bit tense. <laughs> I felt it was quite tense there. Quite a lot of people extra coming, obviously, to watch the All French Showdown. So we go to the original order of who started the match. Yep. Ten. Ten points. And, and, and Thomas electing to shoot the middle face first. This is absolutely acceptable. Yep. That's their rhythm. That's what they not typically do in qu uh, qualification as well. Ten. So. And I suppose you really do want to be familiar with the middle face because that is the face that you're going to have to shoot in a shoot-off yes. when it's down to one arrow. I think he's nine. caught the 9-9 nine nine yeah. there. Put, they'll put an 8 start. 
Chris really wants to shoot on this. I like them. I think they're a great example of what's uh, of how tough this sport is. It's it's mentally tasking. It's Absolutely. It's, it's like a penalty shootout all the nice time. Yeah, he's really uh, found his groove since his first shot. He's got the nice front shoulder down, nice and relaxed on the front arm, yes, keeping the bow going through the tent. He hasn't settled down yet. I think that, uh, he Thomas. does look a bit tense, he actually. He doesn't. He doesn't look... Doesn't look relaxed. Com it's comfortable. So he's a bit on edge. Oh, there's a time problem. His time's starting now. He's not in a rush, is he? He's no. very purposeful in everything he's doing. Very much like John jo uh, yeah. John Charles Valadon. Yes, Nine, uh, three, one. Oh, these guys have got a, 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 a good ambassador to look up to. There, John Charles getting the silver medal in Rio. Yes, he's here. We'll see him later. We'll see him later. Shooting order won't change. Thomas Sherrit. How do you say it? The French is the best, but yeah. I'll have to check with the French commentators <laughs> to the left here. <laughs> he needs to, to get his rhythm. Yeah, just, just settle down, get your breathing. Try to call on all those arrows that you shot in practice. Yep. He's been obviously in this situation before and, and try to bring the game that he was using in the qualification um, where he shot the 590 and then bring it to bring it to here. Yeah. How were their what was their journey like? I like to know how they got here. Nice shot. You know, because he's the number one in the final. He's the first one of those I think we've seen today. I'll have to check that one. Nice. Ten. Nine. Keeps opening the door. So Nicholas up full draw here. Yep. Opens up with a ten. Oh, I was follows nine. it with a nine. Yep. <coughs> Over to Thomas. Really would be good to get a ten here just to apply that pressure to Nicholas. There we and go. he gets it. He needed Although that. Although it wasn't the cleanest of shots. He needed that. But it counts. Doesn't matter, just it counts. It is about hitting the ten when you need to. Nice and calm from Nicholas. Follows oh through, no. gets a nine. <laughs> so three all. So all square. <laughs> Nicholas was the seventh seed, and yep. he had a five-set match in the quarterfinals, going through uh, six sets to four. But he shot uh, 30, 29, 30, 29, 30. Well, so some very it? impressive scoring there. And then in the semi-finals, he was against uh, the British guy, yeah. uh, winning through 6-4. And that was also a five-set match, so a lot of matches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thomas, oh. however, he had a uh, four-set win in the quarterfinals, but then he went off to a shoot-off in the semi-finals, and it was 10 versus 9. Okay. So uh, showing Thomas can hit the 10 when he needs to. Yes. He just needs to bring that to the table here. Both of them seem so on edge. It's, I don't know, it's like real, like... I wonder if there's any history between them. I, I <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's maybe massive bragging rights. You just don't know, do you? I think. This is a, 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 do they have a rivalry nationally yeah, here in it's France? It's a real atmosphere in here. <laughs> it's good. He seems he's to be getting a bit better. He's, he's relaxing. And he's getting closer and closer to the centre of the tent. Yeah. Oh. 
touching that finger there by that. Cheating. Well, yeah. a ten. Seeing that string coming on and off yeah. his nose, that's, yeah. that's not <laughs> keeping a consistent pressure. Don't get away with those outdoors. No, definitely not. That will cause a low arrow normally. Yeah. That's, that's nice shot. So that's the best shot he's played so far. And that's quick. Good, good timing. I, I am impressed with this. It's it's efficient. It's consistent. It's hard Nicholas on the face. Is very processed. He's, he waits. He starts. Oh, no. And this is it. The techniques are being tested in times of stress. Yes. And this is where you need to have a good technique that that is reliable to call on in times of stress, in times of wind and rain. And this is what wins the points and wins the medals. Hard on the face, good really anchor point. On that neck, yeah. Tight. Nose, chin, and neck, nice and tight. That's not going anywhere. Fingers Keep on that, that arrow. front arm going through the tent. Three seconds, Fingers two seconds, and he gets wow. it. It's a bit longer than it should be. It was hard work, but it was a ten. It's a strong young man. So he goes to five. He's got the set. So the practice arrow. Nice ten. Yeah, that will give him confidence for the next set. So. Still impressive though, 29 to 30. Nicholas will shoot first in the last set and he's going to need to put the pressure in, force the shoot off. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of nerves out there today. Yeah, it could be a little bit intimidating shooting against the number one seed, shooting an impressive 590, but you've got to play the game and not the man. Don't yeah. play the don't, don't play the the famous name or the or the reputation of your opponent is is, is shoot your arrows. Play play the game of of, of archery and that is to hit the ten when you need to and get those set points. It's keeping close to his opponent, which is good. Try not to let a big lead get uh, out of your reach. So Nicholas to shoot first, the final set of this match. Who can hold it together to either close out the match or to force a tie break? No, this needs to be a 10. There we go, that was a nice shot. So over to Thomas. Nine. So Nicholas in the driving seat, but indoors you've just got to keep it clean. Needs the turn again. Very good. Wow. Applying the pressure. So Thomas has got a lead. Now can he close out the match? This is where the mental starts to turn on the other side. You've got a lead, but you need to close this out if you want to keep the match. Yeah, there's a nine, so. Yeah, for sure he doesn't want to shoot off, and that's where it looks like it's, it's it. going. It's happening. Got it. Dump this in the 10 to really hurt his opponent. Keep it going. Oh. Good shot. 10, 10, 10. Brilliant shooting. So That's our, the last, way to do it. our last junior match is our first shoot off of the day. So pra quick practice arrow here. Watch how quick he'll shoot this one now. Yep. There we go. There we yeah. go. Look, look at that in the look, middle. Now the pressure's <laughs> off. Look where that arrow is. That's what he wants for shot the uh, it's so quick. <laughs> right shoot the off. It's madness, isn't it? The brain. It is. It's. <laughs> he had l a lot less tension there than he did in the first two arrows of the set. So uh, he didn't want to shoot off. He was thinking, I don't want to shoot off, and that's what he's got. But I think what he did then was rather an attack. He defended. Yes. Absolutely. And that's what happened. You start, oh, I've got a lead. I don't want to lose my lead, rather than just keep going, going, go at it, go at it. And the more you, you, you try not to miss the 10 is, is a case to actually do miss the 10. You've got to try yeah. and hit the 10. So this has had some swings and roundabouts to use the punt. We had a tie. And Nicholas took the lead. Thomas came back to take the lead. Nicholas forced the shoot off. So good seesaw match. And this is the beauty of the set head to head system. This is what is really, really enticing for the crowd and for television. In the shoot off. There's no clear winner. Would you rather shoot first or second? I personally would like to shoot first. 
Give them something to think about. Absolutely. Yeah, if you nail it. Absolutely, absolutely. It really does apply it to, to your opponent. So Thomas will um, shoot first. Yeah. As he started the match from the beginning. So, Ali is an advantage in the shoot off, I believe. Yes, and <coughs> Tom should look favourite here. One because of the score, 590, but he had uh, won the shoot off in the semi-finals, so he's, he's experienced he's here. One. Ooh. Ooh. That's, that's a big nine. I dare to say that's not good enough, but I don't think that's good enough. No. But then I could just have just cursed Nicholas. And so well, well, I, I think he'll. Nicholas has shot three tens so far, so can he make this a fourth ten? No, right. he's got it. And he's just got caught the ten. Brilliant oh shooting. There we go. I think mean, he needs to improve that finger position personally. Yeah, yeah and, and, and keep the arrow so coming back to the quicker. He turned the number one over. Yes. Great shoot in there. Good final. Good final. 